between them. Really dysphoric. So yeah, dysphoria sucks. I decided to start filming right now because I'm feeling really, really dysphoric. About a month ago, I really started to accept and, and come to terms with my trans identity as a non-binary person, and I've always been really dysphoric in, in the past few months I began to feel more and more dysphoric as I've realized more and more how strongly I want to look and present more masculinely than I do currently and even though it's been really awesome to come to terms in my own self as trans it's also made my dysphoria so 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 much worse it's just getting hard. When I first realized I was non-binary, honestly, I was just considering top surgery with no testosterone because I didn't know if I would feel comfortable with all the changes it would bring to my body. But as the days get on and my dysphoria worsens, I have realized that I don't only have chest dysphoria, I also have just an all over sense of dysphoria at how feminine my body looks and how feminine my face looks right now. Right around the time I was starting to accept the fact that I might be trans, I bought my first binder. So this is my first binder that I ever bought. It's a black GC2B binder. It's already like ripping right here. It's ripping because I bought a small even though I knew I should be getting a medium. Don't buy the wrong size of binder. Wearing a binder that isn't the right size for you, that's too small, not only is uh, unsafe and unhealthy because it's literally squeezing your rib cage and you can risk breaking a rib or permanently messing up your body. Aside from that, I've noticed that wearing a binder that's too small, I can literally feel it cutting the oxygen flow off from my brain and it makes me grumpy, it gives me headaches. So even though it might feel better because it's lessening your dysphoria, it's really unhealthy, don't do it. I have only have two binders, this is my first binder. And then this one is my second binder from GC2B. I really like this binder, but the only thing, I have a, my chest in bra sizes, trigger warning. I don't mean to use the wrong terms, but in bra sizes, my chest is a 32 double D. <sighs> so my dysphoria is super bad. Binders really help my dysphoria, but because my chest is so large, even under a shirt, it definitely is a noticeable difference. It makes my chest pretty flat, but it definitely bumps out right here. And that's one thing that makes me really dysphoric. I wish my chest would just be... Places I've noticed that I have dysphoria are in my jawline, this like size of my face. I naturally have a really thin face, but my shoulders, my arms, I have chest dysphoria, obviously. My hips. I have really bad dysphoria in my hips. I also have dysphoria in this part of my legs. So this is the black binder. It's tighter and it's definitely harder to breathe. Um, something that I don't like about it that 
made me buy the other one is that my chest kind of sticks out right here. And that's how I kind of knew I was wearing the wrong size, but this one definitely makes my chest a lot smaller. Some tips I've noticed that help with dysphoria are wearing binder, wearing masculine clothing, especially button down shirts. Button down shirts are great and they make your chest look a lot flatter unless you're wearing like a binder and you have a big chest like me then it kind of causes this like lump in the buttons right there but if you're not in the mood to wear a binder or if you need a binder break take binder breaks you try wearing a button down shirt to help with your dysphoria wearing masculine clothing or more masculine clothing that you than even you would usually wear it sometimes helps me cutting your hair <sighs> something that I didn't think would help with my dysphoria but has it has to do with my job I started working a construction job over the summer and for some reason maybe it's because it's a traditionally very masculine job it's really helped with my dysphoria at work I almost have no dysphoria some other things that help with my dysphoria is like standing like this I've noticed I do a lot usually I don't want my chest to show that much, so I stand really like slouched over, which is not healthy. So if I cross my arms, and then I can stand up straight without feeling super dysphoric or uncomfortable. I haven't come out to anyone yet, so I'm still being referred to by she, her pronouns, which hasn't ever made me feel super dysphoric. But I notice it a lot more now though. It doesn't make me feel like super dysphoric, it just doesn't feel right and it makes me feel like people aren't really seeing me. Um, so dysphoria really sucks. <laughs> Get a good binder, stay safe, experiment, and love yourself. Please, love yourself for just being you.